Hi, and welcome to the Future Car Show, the series where we'll be looking at the motors that will be driving you into the future. My name's Daniel Bennett, Reviews Editor for Focus, the BBC's science and technology magazine. And today, we're looking at the Renault Zoe. Now, the Zoe might look a little familiar, and that's because it's based on the Clio platform. The only difference is, is they've made it slightly longer and slightly taller, perhaps to accommodate the batteries. Um, it's also gained a few lumps and bumps here, but actually, as uh, Super Minis go, I think it's one of the better looking cars out there, but you can feel free to disagree with me in the comments below. Now, the only other difference that uh, you'd notice from a normal car is these low resistance tyres that we've got here. Um, they do make for a little bit of a bumpier ride, but they help eke out those miles from the battery. It's also worth noting that this is one of three electric cars that Renault produces. So it shows that they're really committed to battery powered motoring. So if anyone's gonna get it right, it's gonna be Renault. The Zoe is a really nice car to drive. The acceleration is really quick. As with any other electric car, it can give the wheels the power instantly. There's no waiting for an optimum rev range. Um, it's also really responsive in the steering because it's a little nippy car. Uh, and it makes this quite cool sound at low speeds to sort of warn pedestrians if you're approaching. It's also got a fairly good range of around 100 miles. When we got the car, it had 71 miles on the clock, we've driven around 30, and now we've got about 40 left. So it's pretty accurate in telling you how far you've got to go and how you're using your range. And actually driving the Zoe, I felt less anxious than any other electric car before it. Even the Leaf and even the Tesla had me no more nervous about how far I could go than in the Zoe. So, inside, the Renault Zoe is a really nice place to be. You've got these great seats that look like they kind of belong in a cockpit. And in front, your instrument's on a little rectangular screen, which is, you know, it's different to the usual semicircle cluster of instruments that you see, which I think is a nice touch, because when you buy something like an electric car, you want things to be a little bit different. And then on the left here, you've got the sort of central console, which is a nice little responsive touchscreen interface uh, that's not too dissimilar from what you'd find on an Android phone, except simplified down for the car. Uh, everything that you'd expect is here, like the multimedia, the sat-nav, the vehicle systems, but there's also one nice little trick, um, which is up here, that shows you exactly the air quality outside. Now I laugh there because I can't work out why you need to know it, what help it would be. Maybe it'd make you feel a little more smug about your purchase, but it's definitely something we've never seen on a car before and maybe something we might see again with smog being more of a problem in cities. The driving position is also a little higher than uh, I'm used to for a super mini car. And I think that's because the batteries um, have pushed the position up, but actually it's quite a nice spot to drive from and it's a nice place to be. And for a car that's quite compact, it actually feels really spacious in here. And you know, there's not oodles of room in the back, but it's, it's apt enough to put your bags in or a couple of kids. So, as a super mini in itself, the Renault Zoe is actually pretty good. It's nimble, it's easy to park, and it's a really nice quiet place to be in the city. And better yet, it's got quite a lot of space in the boot and in the car. That said, as with all electric battery powered cars, it doesn't come without its sacrifices. It's only going to suit people with a certain type of lifestyle who don't want to have a car that can go further than say 100 miles. All in all though, if this is one of the sort of early models of what little super mini electric cars can be, then Renault is definitely on our radar.
thanks for watching and if you enjoyed the video don't forget to hit the subscribe button below also if there's anything else you want us to review do let us know in the comments we do also have other videos out there so feel free to check those out on the channel